Welcome back to GMA3. That was Tennessee state lawmaker Justin J. Pearson after reclaiming his legislative seat in a special election victory. Yeah, definitely making a name for himself. Pearson and fellow state representative Justin Jones were expelled earlier this year for their involvement in gun control protests on the state house floor. Now they have both officially won back their seats. And here to discuss it all is Tennessee state representative Justin J. Pearson. Good to see you and thanks for being on. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. So you tweeted, you can't expel a movement. You can't expel hope. What does this mean for you and everyone else who is supporting you through this entire process? Our movement is combined of people across the state who believe that we have to do something about ending gun violence. We have to do something about prioritizing the voices of the people in our community who've been pushed to the periphery. The Tennessee Republican Party not only expelled myself and Representative Jones, they expelled 140,000 people we represent, people who went to the polls and voted for us and who wanted for us to be their voices, whether that be in Memphis and Millington or Nashville. And what we have reclaimed is our piece of democracy, that the voices of our people and of our constituents and of our community matters. And now we are going back to the state house with a mandate from the people to elevate the voices, to elevate the issues in our community and to stop the epidemic of gun violence. You won with 94% of the vote. We're heading into a big election year in 2024. Do you think this tells us anything about the voters and what it is that they want? Voters want for us to advocate for them. Voters want for us to make sure we address the issues that are impacting them daily. Gun violence is the number one killer of children in the state of Tennessee and the most significant killer of children across this country. We have to listen to the people in our communities who have been disenfranchised, who have been told that their voices and their votes do not matter, and we have to elevate them up. It is only by being proximate to the people who've been pushed to the periphery that we're gonna create the transformation that we need in our country. And that's what's being proven in Tennessee and in the South and must be proven across this country. And it is no secret that you have clashed before with the Republican-led State House there, uh, not just over gun control, but back in February, you were criticized for wearing a dashiki. Uh, that's traditional African garb uh, during your swearing-in ceremony. How do you plan on working with Republicans moving forward, especially on the issue of gun control? We have to realize that the Republican Party in Tennessee has an infrastructure rooted in white supremacy, rooted in patriarchy and injustice. And the reality is that institution does not change in and of itself. It requires people's mobilization and activation and organization to change it. And it is the tens of thousands of people who have marched. It is the tens of thousands of people who have made phone calls and who have given money and resources that is forcing the Republican Party in Tennessee to have a change in perspective, if not a change in heart. And that movement of people, that is not going away. And I believe it is only going to continue to grow and is only going to continue to build in order for us to make Tennessee the place that it ought to be. And so even if they don't want to work with us, they are going to have to be responsive to the millions of people across our state who are saying now is the time to do something about gun violence. And every poll shows that over 80 percent of Tennesseans want for some action to happen. And what is your biggest concern when it comes to voters and voting rights, especially with this election coming up? Yeah, I mean, the, my biggest concern is voter disenfranchisement. One out of five black people in the state of Tennessee cannot vote. We're seeing polling locations being closed or being made in very uh, far off places in districts. We're seeing continuous attacks on our democracy to prevent people from engaging young people, older people, senior citizens, and those who are registering people to vote to try and dilute our democracy instead of inspiring people to participate in it. And so I'm deeply concerned about the laws coming out at state houses. At the state level, we are seeing the erosion of democracy and we have to have everyone engaged in local government and in state government in particular if we're going to preserve this democracy especially heading into a, a national election all right tennessee state representative justin j pearson good to see you and thanks for coming on thanks so much let's keep going you got it well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.